welcome back to my channel so today i filmed this bomb tutorial on this hair i did a whole plucking well not really too much plucking but i did a baby hair tutorial and i basically showed you guys how to get your part nice and crispy and clean so if you guys are interested in how i got this look keep on watching all right you guys so this is the wig i'm wearing a wig from jesse's wig i'm going ahead and putting it on y'all look at me <laughs> why well, look i was trying to put it on so one thing i will say is the lace was a little bit small when it came to fitting it on my head so i did have to go in with the razor and just cut it back some but now i'm going ahead and cutting it with the razor so i can fully adjust it to my head y'all i do have a really big head so now i'm going ahead and adjusting it moving it around i'm going to go ahead and begin to part it i'm doing a deep side part and once i finish parting it i'm gonna go ahead and start to hot comb it and just set it before i cut the lace off so i'm going in with my wax stick and i'm just slicking the hairs down and reparting it again with my comb Now I'm just going in with my hot comb and I'm just pressing out that area and defining the part a bit better. Once I finish doing that, I'm going to go ahead and cut off that excess lace and I'm going to begin. Whoa, I don't even know what happened to the part of me cutting the lace. I must have deleted it. But I'm going in with my lace glue. This is the Soul Melted Glue and I'm going to be doing about two thin layers of this glue. Once the first layer dries clear, then I'm going to go ahead and do the second layer. And once that dries clear, then I'm going to install the wig. So now I'm going in and installing the wig. Um, I am pulling it down to my likings. The wig does fit small, so it is going to have like a nice tight pulling feeling to it. I'm going ahead and putting that bottom piece down. I'm making sure that one side is fully glued down. Before I go ahead and do that other side, I was just seeing like strings of hair, y'all. Do not put your lace down. If there are hairs laying on your lace glue, please, it's going to look tacky. So now I'm just going ahead and applying that wig. Once I finish doing that, I'm going to go in with my comb and I'm just going to start pressing out the areas. The corner tab to the left was still really wet, so I didn't want to put the glue down yet. So once it finally dries to my likings, then I'm going to go ahead and put the glue down. I'm placing down that glue and making sure that everything is fully glued down. I did have to cut a little piece of the lace back some again. So now I'm just going ahead and I'm making sure everything is fully glued down and cutting around my ears making sure i am comfortable so now i'm going to go ahead and start off my baby hair process i'm going to be doing four pieces so that top swoop and my sideburn and as well as the same side on the opposite side i'm not going to be doing a middle swoop so i also have a new plucking routine so i showed it to you guys in a previous video and it'll be captioned my new plucking routine now i'm just taking some of my spritz and i just put that along my hairline and then i took a little bit of got to be so i could actually melt the lace so once I do that, I'm going to take my melt band that Jessie Wiggs sent me. Alright you guys, so I'm about to start my baby hairs. And I'm going to be using my baby hair goo. Also, I'm gonna be spraying a little bit of got to be on my brush. I don't know why I've been feeling got to be mixed with the gel.
Call the shorty off a fist off. Just the one on the video, it's a pressure. Way that I've been living on conventional. I was trying to make it to the engine, no. Certain things have started getting pissed off. Think we need to have a son of I could be a man, but maybe down the road. Right now, I would rather see my heart turn to bone. Rather see my heart turn pissed off. Inside a crib on my own. Soon as I feel up, I'm about to pop up on your phone. Like I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside. PT. Two times, baby girl, you know me. Yeah. Who am I? All the niggas around me. Riding and dying. Gotta watch your time, cause it's flying right by. Two times, baby girl, you know me. So now I'm going to take some of my sweetness spray. This is what I was using to flat iron my hair. I'm going to just spraying it around my hair. Making sure I have that nice silky effect. Okay, so now I'm just going to set the base of my hair and just give everything a nice crispy finished look for the middle part of my head I like to take a foundation color that is like a shade darker than me and I'll just tap it right along my hairline this just helps with the brightness And as for my parting, I actually don't use concealer, but I will show you guys what it would look like with concealer. Because sometimes I use concealer on my clients, but this just helps it have like an extra clean look to the install. So I would just take some of the concealer and I would just part it like that go like that and as far as this part I will just put a little right here I didn't put a little too much but just put it like on my hair so just like that and of course I don't really need to put any um Mascara, I didn't really over bleach the hair or anything like that. So now I'm going to take my spritz and then I'm just going to take my edge control brush and just brush the little streams over small streams like that, just like this. And then I'm going to spray right over here. Because I want the hairs to fall over. Right? So then I'm going to take my hot comb. And just hot combing it back like that. And then putting it over. Like this. And the hairs will just fall perfectly like that. And same for my side part. This just tops it off and gives it like a really nice silky and clean look.
put a little bit more baby hair glue right here. Alright you guys, so this is the final look for the tutorial. Super cute. So I am wearing hair from Jessie's wig. I will have all the descriptions listed down below on this wig. I am wearing 26 inches straight. If I'm not mistaken, this is a 13 by 6 wig. But if I'm wrong, I will have it listed in the description box. But I was able to part it in the size. So definitely enough parting space to do styles that you want to do without having any issues. So yeah, y'all. Make sure you guys check out Jessie here with some bomb affordable quality hair.